Hi folks, the Filipina P here. And as most people know, feminism and the women's movement began back in a time when women were denied the right to vote and often kept out of the workforce. So attempting to secure more rights served a legitimate purpose. But after successive waves of modern feminism crashed over Western culture, all they're accomplishing now is to perpetuate a gender war with no winners, harming the family unit and tearing at the very fabric of society. The purpose of the women's rights movement was achieved a long time ago, yet it continues to cause problems between the sexes, resulting in many men looking east to find their relationships. I've received hundreds of messages from viewers that worry about toxic feminism reaching Asian shores, believing that it was only a matter of time before the movement poisoned the women here as well. So today, I'll be asking Filipinas themselves and what they think about it, and offering my prediction on the future of feminism in Asia. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you for a small favor. If you want to help the performance of this video and my channel, please take just two seconds to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons, as well as that little bell symbol, so I can let you know whenever I release a new video. Thank you in advance. If you ask the average person for their definition of feminism, you're likely to hear the familiar phrase, equal rights. And who could argue with that? But is that really what's going on? Or is it just a slogan that's been hijacked, a false banner, flying over a much more insidious philosophy? If it's actually about equal rights, then I have to wonder, the right to do what? Name one thing a woman already doesn't have the right to do. To vote, work, and drive? The pay gap was proven to be bogus. So what is it they really want? Power, my friends domestic, political, and economic, and you know it. That's often one of the main reasons you're coming here. I don't know what I'd do if I were in your situation, but considering a woman of the Asian persuasion would probably be on the list. So men are looking east to places like the Philippines for a more traditional relationship. But are they just temporarily escaping a pack of wolves that's hot on their heels no matter where they go? is feminism making its way east. Well, like any bacteria, feminism thrives best in conditions that allow it to grow and spread. But in my opinion, the Philippines is like a dry desert for this particular infection. And that's because it's a totally different situation in this part of the world. And here's why. No matter how you try to package it, Western feminism has a very obvious financial component like the seizing of wealth once the marriage is over. Well, that won't work here, since there's no wealth to grab, no divorce, we have airtight prenuptial agreements, and the courts don't particularly favor either party. A Filipina dragging her husband to court in an attempt to squeeze money out of him has better odds of getting blood from a mango. And you can't tell Filipinas that they're being frozen out of the good jobs by the patriarchy because it's obvious to everyone that it's the women who have the jobs in the first place and bring home most of the paychecks. So screaming about how Asian women need more rights just sounds silly and isn't gonna produce any positive results. Another reason that feminism won't take root here is demographical. A large supply of available women like we have here works against feminism. It's the simple law of supply and demand and it's hard to go making demands when there's so much supply. If I were the last woman on earth, I could pretty much ask for whatever I wanted. But with millions of my Android clones set to hit the market, my bargaining power is greatly reduced. Funny how that works. Another reason feminism won't take hold here is because it's completely disorganized. Except on rare occasions in big cities, Women won't be marching down the streets wearing pink hats here, because calling attention to yourself is a very un-Asian thing to do. And we prefer to resolve issues without antagonizing each other. And finally, 
feminism won't become a big deal here because we've already achieved its goals organically without conflicts, marches, name-calling, or punishing men along the way. The following is from last year's World Economic Forum and their Global Gender Gap Report, which states that the Philippines is now ranked the top country in all of Asia for women's equality. And apparently, we did it without a vocal feminist movement. The rankings are made on the basis of four different categories. The first is employment participation. And we got that covered easily because, as I said earlier, it's mostly the women that have the jobs here. Been that way for a long time. The next is educational attainment. And the same thing is true. It's the women who are getting most of the college and professional degrees. Been that way for a long time. The third category is called health and survival. The medical facilities in the Philippines are actually pretty good and women have the same access as men do. We also have access to birth control here, although most of us voluntarily choose not to use it. And isn't feminism all about a woman's right to choose? The only category we seem to be lacking in is called political empowerment. But when you take a look at how it's measured, it's just a simple quota system that looks at the percentage of women in the government and totally ignores the nature of men and women. The only thing that's important is that women have an equal opportunity to run for office, which we do. But demanding that women make up half the government or any other field, it's ridiculous. Now I run the risk of angering other women when I say this, but it's true. There are actually differences in men and women that make the sexes better at different tasks. Men are better in positions that require a more aggressive and decisive nature. And thinking outside the box, where women perform better in fields involving communication, networking, and multitasking. So I really wouldn't want to see people forced into positions they're not the best at, just for the sake of some stupid numbers game. Women might not hold half of the elected positions, but the system is still perfectly fair if they want to run. Equality of opportunity is the goal, not equality of outcome. Trying to impose a system where 50% of engineers and mathematicians are female and half of all nurses and school teachers are male is a fool's errand. And that's something that Western feminists just don't get. They smell inequality and sexism under every bed. And that's not the way forward for any happy society. We should embrace our differences, not attempt to cancel them. So what do Filipinas actually think about all this? Is feminism gaining steam in this part of the world? I interviewed some random people to hear what they had to say. Check this out. Hey Fritz, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed. Uh, sure. And now, can you uh, introduce yourself to my viewers out there? Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Fritchy. I am 22 years old and I am still a student taking up Bachelor, bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. So Fritch, um, what, do you, uh, what do you think if you hear the word feminism? For me, feminism is an approach to women empowerment so that they can get back what they were once deprived of or once they were refused of before. And mm -hmm. say for example, the right to vote, they were once deprived of that. So yeah, basically feminism is all about equality. What rights do men have that you don't have? Well, for now, I can say that I think we are all or we are getting the equality that we want because mm -hmm. we can do the things that men do mm -hmm. and also men can do the things that we do. So basically when we weigh those things, it sums up to equality. Equality is happening. Equality is really here right now. In education, mm -hmm. in work, in politics, yes, I can say that we are treating men and women equally. Okay, so Fritch, uh, do you consider yourself a feminist for now i i'd say that i am a feminine you are a feminine okay <laughs> let me give you a scenario how about um 
in the workplace. Mm -hmm. um, there's a male coworker that would say, "Hey, Fritz, you look, you look pretty today. Would you feel creeped out?" And you go, you'll go to your boss and or to the HR uh, personal to report the guy. Well, or? I've also experienced that, and mm -hmm. um, based on my experience, no, I didn't get any violent reactions. Okay. Instead, I was flattered. Ah, okay. Because yeah, it's it's important when a person or a man or even a woman gives compliment, it boosts your confidence. It boosts your self confidence, and it just makes my day. Okay, well that's good because if it's really genuine mm -hmm, yeah. appreciation or um, yeah, you look yeah, pretty we today. Be thankful. Yeah, it's like yeah, we should we good. we don't know what a certain person is either having a bad day or a great day, and a simple compliment would just make everything seems better. Right. Have you heard about microaggressions like men do things to uh, get power over you, like cutting you off when you're talking? Have you experienced that in a way? In a way, when we are like talking in a group okay. and a certain man cuts me off when I'm talking, mm. when I know that person, or let's just say I'm talking and he cuts me off and I know that, oh yeah, he is talkative, so it's okay with me. Ah, okay, so it's yeah. just his nature I don't to take talk. it personally or I don't react specifically when I know the person. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I get that because sometimes, yeah, I do have yeah. male friends that mm -hmm. they're just so talkative and they just want to own the spotlight. Yes, yes. But it's not really an aggression, it's just the way they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, do you think that men's rights are um, equally important with women's rights? Yeah, since we are talking about feminism and I've mentioned earlier equality, right? Mm -hmm. So when we say equality, it means equal. We should not focus only on the women's right, but also for the men's as well. Mm -hmm. Because if we only focus on the women's side, then we cannot say that we will, we are up to equality. Right, that's so right. So we should weigh both sides because we are talking about all genders here. Right. So equality. So yep. if you are if you're trying to intimidate the other one, that. then that's not equal. True. So, okay. Have you heard about the gender war wars in the West? Yes, I've heard about that. It's a it's a shame, right, that mm. they're treating their men that way. I mean, yeah, for those women who are treating their men less than they deserve, well, it's shameful. Yeah, I know, right? Because not not most of them. Oh, I mean, not all of them but mm. some of them. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, to wrap it up, do you think the Philippines is equal towards men and women? Do you think you're happy with our system? With regards to the equality, yes, we have that one, and we just need to continue with what we are doing, continue with our um, insights of having an equal country because that's what we deserve. Each one of us, men, women, whatever it is, we deserve equality and if we want equality towards ourselves then we should also show to others that we value them and we see their worth the same thing as the other people right wow that line can actually win you a crown <laughs> as a miss universe <laughs> the future miss universe Fritchie, well, I really do sure. appreciate your input and your thoughts on, on the matter. Thank you so also, much. Also, thank you for this opportunity. Well, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed today. And um, I have a few questions for you, if it's okay. Yep. Okay, so what does feminism mean to you? Well, uh, feminism means to me is equality. Equality. What rights do men have that you don't have? I mean, actually, um, I don't think so that there is a right for men that women doesn't have. It's very equal in here because not only boys can, can have um, a good education, mm -hmm. not only boys can get a degree. Mm -hmm. So we can also get a degree here. We can have a position and a job. Okay. We can also, um, you know, we can also decide for things. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, because we also have female president mm, as yeah. well, right? Uh, I think we had two. So would you call yourself a feminist? No, I am a feminine, but a feminist? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're feminine, but not feminists. Okay, so what about 
um, if a guy, like, you know, random guy, um, opens up a door for you when you're entering a store mm-hmm. or anywhere, what would you feel? Would you feel angry about it? Well, no, I'm not going to feel angry. Why would I? Mm-hmm. It's a kind of respect that they want to give to you. So I also feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, feel, we actually feel flattered if someone would open a door for us. I think yeah. it's, a good, it's a good thing. It's a good feeling that we're appreciated. Thank you so very much for your input. Thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed, Miriam, right? Yeah. Tell me about yourself. A little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Yam Yam Kabaron. I'm also a YouTuber. <gasps> like, I'm a small YouTuber. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Um, thanks for having me here. I'm 22 years young and I'm residing here in Negros Oriental. Would you say that? Uh, women here in the Philippines have the same rights as men. Yes, there's no... Um, in terms of leadership, there are men and women in a position of having the ability to lead. Mm-hmm. Um, we all have the equality to have access to basic education mm-hmm. and then we all have the um, capacity and ability to be employed, men and women in all different sorts of kinds of work and employment there is men and women in whatever department you are in so how about men opening up a door for you would you feel angry because you can open your own door or would you feel okay that's nice yeah i would feel the latter i would be um i would i think that Oh, it's so kind to do this gesture, this bare minimum. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like for opening uh, uh, the doors, uh, the taxi's door, for example, or whatever, um, the restaurant's door or something. I would feel that, oh, it's so thoughtful that he would do this for me. Other men wouldn't do this for me. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, are you in a relationship? No, I'm single as a Pringle. (laughs) Ah, single as a Pringle. I like that. So, Yam, have you heard about microaggressions? Like, uh, men do little things to get power over you, like um, interrupting you when you're speaking. Have you heard about those? No, I haven't heard about those. Just now. Just now. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. so we never, you never. Um, yeah, I've never experienced or something like that. Just a chit chat. I don't think that um, I would call it a microaggression if he would want to interrupt because maybe he's just really talkative and would want to be in that yeah, <laughs> in that yeah. conversation. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> they can be annoying, but sometimes they're really just talkative and just yeah. want to be pick me, pick me, or like listen to what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. There are guys like that. So, do you think men's rights are also important, same as the women's rights? Yes, men's rights are also equally important to women's rights since we all know that there are men who have been abused by the opposite gender or their wives. There are If there are buttered women, there are also buttered men and also sometimes their rights are violated. So yes, men's rights are equally important to women's rights. I really thank do you appreciate much. your input and yes. thank you so much. And guys, check out her channel. Thank you. Thank you, the Miss <laughs> the Filipina P. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Eliza, thank you so much for Hi. your time. So, my question is, would you say the Philippines is treating men and women equally? Yeah. Both gender have the same rights. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I'm more feminine. You're more feminine. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let me give you a scenario. What would you feel if your male coworker um, gives you a compliment? Like say, Eliza, you look so pretty today. Would you feel creeped out? Or would you go to your boss and report him? No. No. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just a compliment. You know, uh, as a person, you can really feel there's something wrong behind it. So. So if it's genuine and it's yeah, good, it's just, it's just genuine. Um, then I'm good. Okay. It's just a compliment. I would feel very happy because someone just complimented me with right. how I look. So Eliza, do you think we need feminism in this country? Would that help the Philippines? I think no, because Philippines already have the same fair treatment with the women and men. Mm. So let's just keep the way it is um, let's just continue doing what we're doing and yeah uh, because 
it all just the same. Um, we don't have any um, hierarchy between men and women. Pretty much, we are. We don't need feminism in the Philippines. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with me. And um, yeah, thank you, and have a good day. Okay. Yeah. Now, obviously, a sample size of four people doesn't let us draw any accurate conclusions. But I can say that these interviews were about what I expected and reflect the views I hear all the time from Filipinas. We already have equality here. We don't feel like we're being cheated by men. And unlike many Western women, we realize when the scales of justice are pretty much level. We actually understand that men have issues too. And it's just as important to solve their problems as it is our own. After all, equality works both ways, does it not? An unfair family court system, male suicide, abused male partners, and forced circumcisions are just some of the issues that need to be addressed before men can feel that they're being treated equally too. Now, for those of you that might be tempted to claim that a woman can possibly see things except from the perspective of a female, and a Filipina can only understand things from her own biased viewpoint, that's more than a little insulting and totally false, as any of you that watch my channel already know. That'd be like claiming that if you're not a Filipino, you can't understand anything about the Philippines, which would make all these YouTube channels totally useless. I assure you, I'm perfectly capable of looking at gender issues from both sides in a logical way and calling modern feminism what it is, an idea whose time has passed. Fortunately, I don't think it'll get much traction in this part of the world. I'd like to say it's because we're too smart for that, but the truth is, it just has no use for the people here. Well, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed my analysis of this hot button topic. I'll be back in just a few days to give you something else to think about. Till next time, folks. We want equal pay. We want equal pay. Excuse me, ma'am, but what's not equal about the pay you're getting? Well, I heard that someone else was getting more because he's a man. Oh, uh, the laws already make it illegal to pay one gender more than the other. Oh, really? Okay then. We want extra pay! We want extra pay! So you just want pay raises for all employees? No, just the women. Well, how is that fair? Well, it's fair because men have had it easy for far too long. I want my rights! And what rights do you not have? The right to protest without a bunch of silly questions. Sure, go right ahead. But then I have a right to say your demands are ridiculous and you look really silly in that hat. You're right. I know. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your pilot, helping you keep your nose up and out of trouble here in the Philippines. The main thrust of my videos is to keep you entertained and informed about the culture here so you'll have a soft landing when you arrive. Now please exit my cockpit and return to your seats. Hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and enjoy some of my other videos while you relax. Once we reach an altitude of one mile, all you club members will have full use of the lavatories.